Hello everybody, welcome back to Balatra's Road to 100%. Where are we going to go today? Let's go to the Nebula deck because we haven't beaten White Stake with it yet. So we might as well. So we get the Telescope Voucher. But only one consumable slot, which should be fine. Like, we should breeze through this. He said, famously, having never ever come up against troubles when he says he's going to breathe through something before. Of course, you couldn't give me the full house. That would be too simple. There it is. All right, I will take my one extra dollar as the cable on my mouse gets hung up on something and annoys me. How are you guys doing today? How are you enjoying cards? Ooh. All right, we'll do this. It's a shame I can't buy Saturn as well, but there'll be time for it. So, allow straights to be made with one gappers. Well, right now, we don't need the one gapper. Um, but if we find an ace, a three, a seven, or, you know, Five pair will be just fine. Seven, six, five, four, two. We missed the three, but shortcut enables that, which is fine. Odd Todd or Seltzer. I think just Odd Todd here is fine. We have now played more straights than anything else, so any ta uh, any planet packs that we get are going to be just fine. Cards played previously this ante are debuffed. Well, we'll look for the straight at the lower end rather than the higher end because down here we of course have odd cards for odd Todd, whereas up at the top end the face cards don't count as odd or even. Ace does, which makes this okay because we get the nine and the ace for odd Todd. Now we need to find some multiplier. Well, let's do the celestial pack then, because there is Saturn. And I'll crack a buffoon pack. We've already got some chips. Seeing double, we can make a straight with a club in it, no bother. He says with uh that wasn't even the club silly me it'll be fine this will still get us to 800 chips in two hands it's only white stake it's not like i need to pay loads and loads of extra attention nothing could possibly go wrong mega spectral pack for eight dollars all good fun okay um i think we could go ectoplasm wraith here Add negative to a random joker. Minus one hand size, but with shortcut, I don't mind it. And then a rare joker. Well, 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 would you look at that? If I could afford you after this blind, I absolutely would. So this six is not really what I need. I want a club up in the high end, please. Wow, very rude. So this is a straight. There is one odd card, but no clubs. So blueprint onto odd Todd. And we nearly get there, to be fair. Um, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is too big. So do we think ace high? is ever enough probably not right like the multiplier is not going to change no matter what we do so we'll do ace high but throw in the extra cards to try and get to a straight which this is and then we'll copy seeing double for the multiplier twice We do not get to $10 for Paintbrush, but Supernova. We have played eight straights so far. We're only going to play more. 
This is the start of a beautiful build. All diamonds are debuffed. Sure thing. King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. With two clubs, with blueprint seeing double, and the straight. Simple stuff. Now, we still have room for one more joker because shortcut is negative. Um, we can take one, sell one, then take a different one. I like the idea of delayed gratification. So, buy this, sell this, take delayed gratification. That is incompatible, which is fine. Uh, we're just going to play trips here so that we don't use a discard so that delay gratification stays intact. And then the malt going double-double is all we need. Loads of money. Don't need any of this, really. Nine eight seven six five four three two is about as broken as straight as you can possibly imagine. Give me six more dollar dues, please. Jumbo Celestial has Saturn and an Arcana pack because why not? Um. There's no clubs here, so let's just make a seven into glass. Must play five cards. Absolutely fine for straights. Ooh. Now, if we copy shortcut, this becomes terrible. But anything else, and we'd be pretty happy. So, we've got plenty of money now. So, I'm happy enough to do this. Uh, the negative could be interesting as well. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I mean, I could play a full house. But our straight is level three. A full house is much, much smaller. So, do that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 with a club. Don't need to play the glass 7 at all yet, so we won't risk it. Foil Rocket Emperor we'll do right now. Oh, we only have one Joker slot, of course. All right, we'll hold this. If this copies... Shortcut, we can sell it and do something else. You have one round on you. I'll take a spectral. And no thanks. Arcana. All right, even more glass. Skip here for a negative. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just barely enough points, but enough nonetheless. Our negative, faceless. Earn five dollars if three or more face cards are discarded. It will probably pay for itself. Although, it's one more bad target for invisible, so not certain that I'll keep it around. I'll take this as a free refill of the shop that is effectively a reroll discounted on the purchase of the thing itself. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. We'll leave the six of clubs in hand because then if we need to make a second straight out of this center group, we can. 
we did not need to. This is ready. After three rounds, sell this card to duplicate a random joker, currently three of three, removes negative from the copy. I just don't want another copy of Faceless Joker, and Faceless Joker's doing so little for me. I'm fine ditching this. So the only bad choice out of this is Shortcut. Anything else is fine. Anything to the right is a preference. All right, so Supernova is going to go twice at 15 each, 16, then 17 every time we play a subsequent uh, Joker. Straight, not Joker. Brain. Uh, I don't need this. I would like that. We are absolutely loaded. We take every opportunity to play a blind we can because that's one more pip into Supernova on their multipliers. We take every Celestial pack for Saturn. Let's stick some bonus chips on some even cards to m level out the odd cards that we want to use. Minus one hand size could be tricky. Could be tricky. Right, we've got the jack in clubs already. So I'm going to try for the straight at the high end. We're going to drop the 10. Take the... Oh no, the 10 jack... The 9-10 gap is too big to take the 8. But we could do it this way. Keep the jack of clubs. That way we still have a club in hand if we really, really need one. But hopefully we're just fine. Love to see it. Take Saturn. I will grab an extra discard especially when we're working with straights and a smaller hand size. Don't need any of that stuff. I do love a double tag, but I want to scale up on straights as much as possible, so... Only need one club. And we are flying. Um, you can be wild, because then you count as a club for the purposes of seeing double. And yeah more bonus chips is fine we are up to 18 straights ace two three four five is too big a gap seven six five four still too big a gap wow six five four three two ace Finally got there. Chariot just staying held in reserve. More Celestial Pack. More Saturn. Arcana. I'll take 20 bucks. Keep this interest train rolling. Zero discards is unpleasant. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, ace. Great stuff. 80,000 on that. We should be fine through anti eight. More celestial. More satin. What more could you want? <laughs> Negative ice cream. Yes, please. Uh, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace.
great times were had. Thank you, Ice Cream. More Celestial. You know the routine at this point. You could do it in your sleep. Uh, I'll crack the Arcana Pack as well. Let's go three in glass. Keep it reasonably far away from the seven. Six, seven gap is too big. Ace, king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight. I don't love using the glass, but it'll be fine. So I'm down one glass eight. It's not the end of the world. So many good tarot cards, but we just don't have room to accommodate. Let's see if we can find an eight in here. No, but a club glass jack is pretty good going. Base, malt, and chips are halved. Nine, eight, seven, six is way too big a gap. Two, three, four, five, seven. Easy game, lots of extra chips. 93,000, even with our base multiplier halved. I will take an extra hand. It's an extra dollar when we don't use them all as well. A bit more emergency glass. One random joker disabled every hand. I think we can handle that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Don't have the three. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Save the glass, as ever. If I find something really good, a negative red card. Sure. We need to sell something. It's also one more target that can be disabled, which benefits us. Right. Two, three, five, six is not enough. Good golly. Two, three, four, five, six. No club, though. This is unideal. There you go. Never thought not having the club would be the part of the problem I'd be facing. Definitely not. Would be lovely. But I'm not going to get rid of anything right now. Also, I don't need straight flushes, so actually not really lovely. Nothing there. All right, one random joker disabled every hand. Start over here. That's manageable. Seven, eight, nine, ten jack is too big a gap. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Queen has a club, has a glass card. Everything is fine. Let's stick the steel on now, and this should be totally okay. Glass didn't even break. Right, let's go to endless. I just want to see if the shop has the one voucher I actually need. It does not. So, skip, skip. Do this as swiftly as possible. Eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Does this get us 220,000? No, it doesn't. This will, for sure. I just want to see if the voucher is the one that I'm missing. This is not the one that I'm missing. Do you have a legendary in you? You 
do not have a legendary in you. All right, in that case, this was just 20 minutes. Let's go back to the main menu. Throw in a new run on Nebula deck. Let's go straight up to Red Stake and see if we can beat that today too. Um, this doesn't have any benefit to me, so sure, we'll take free rerolls. Continuing with the straights, although I suspect not for nearly as long. Well, I stand corrected. Okay. Planet cards in your consumable area give 1.5 times melt for their specified hand is interesting, but a stencil when the whole rack is empty is something I cannot avoid. Must play five cards. Sure thing. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. So this four is twenty. Uh, a jumbo buffoon pack. Anything to join the club here. Riffraff is going to fill up loads of the room. But at the same time, well, I was going to say we could always sell stuff, but the plus 10 here, the plus 100 chips here, makes me think I don't need to sell anything. 6, 7, 8, 9, we need a 10 or a 5. Of course, we just get 3 pair. So this is on clubs. Uh, a negative runner. Sure, we've been doing some things with straights today. Right, I don't need lusty and gluttonous, so I will sell you to make this at least be 2x. And then we just need to find a 10. So this will upgrade runner. I think I'm just going to hold on to my cash here for a second. Plus 100 chips if hand contains a straight. Well an interesting prospect. We could just ditch ice cream. We'll ditch it when we're ready to play a straight. Now, eight, nine, oh, wait, we're good. Yep. So we're very heavy on chips right now, but that's fine. This is not the end of the world for us. Shortcut is back. What are the chances? All right, Riff Raff, you're out. Runner, Devious, Gluttonous can stay. Joker, Stencil can stay. And we're going to get loads more Saturn because we still have Telescope. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jack 10, 9, 8, 7. Of course, we have shortcuts, so I need to remember that it's going to be easier to make our straights now. Of course. Don't need any of that stuff. Extra large blind. All right, then. Uh, eight, nine is too big a gap. Oh, but ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven is fine. One club, but 
all the extra trimmings from a straight. DNA is a no-go on this occasion. I will take the extra discard. Straights can be tricky like that. Oh, Saturn was in the shop and I missed it. Uh, this will have Saturn in it. And give me high card. Ten jack gap. Two clubs. It's not bad. Twenty-two thousand points. Honestly, if this gets big enough, there might be a time where we get rid of this to make this 3x, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, I think so. Nice, that's 10 more malt out of shortcut. Two for two. Denied. Um... Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Played this card previously a debuffed. Well, we can play this one. That's fine. Love to see it. The extra ten here becoming twenty on the two X is lush. Don't think we need either of those. Always want these for more satin. Take this for more satin, especially because the red blind doesn't give us any benefit. Uh, sorry, the small blind doesn't give us any benefit on the red stake. Sentences are hard. Taking every club we can find in the straights that we're making. A couple of glass cards in the deck probably wouldn't hurt now. But we'll keep upgrading those straights. Supernova again. What are the odds? Play only one hand type this round. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace is too big a gap at the top, so ditch these. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack is enough. And we don't have to worry about finding a second one. Um, we'll do that in a second. We'll do this first. Take the satin. Then we need to find the fool. So now this satin's going to sit here. Ah, uh, my one blind too short. No, I'm fine. We take this next time, then this satin becomes a 1.5x multiplier for us in a second. Um, we do this. We get three extra dollars from that. One extra dollar from this. We're not going to be able to afford that right now, which is annoying. We could sell this to buy this, but there's a negative coming up on the next blind, which I would like. But I guess skipping the negative is the prerogative here, isn't it? Or rather, not skipping and getting the extra dollar. Uh, King, Queen, 10, 8, 7 is fine. Don't know why my brain wants to point out the ones that are missing sometimes and the ones that aren't on other times, but this satin is now 1.5x malt to us, which is huge. All club cards are debuffed. Um, do I ever just play quads? We have a 4-5 gap that is too big over here.
I mean, it's some of what we need. 87654 is still too big a gap. I meant to select that queen. 9876. 198765. We're fine, especially with Saturn doing extra work. Runner up to 130 chips. Ah, flower pot, I would love you, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, all heart cards are debuffed is fine. I'll skip this because I guess I could have made these too bigger. I forget that bit. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Upgrade it more. Upgrade that more. Everything is great. Double Celestial Packs means double Saturns. Don't think we need Director's Cut here. All hearts are debuffed. We don't draw any. We are cruising. Oh my god, double Celestial Packs again? How could it possibly be? Very large blind. So a regular old straight with one club is 132,000. Mm. What was that blind? Was it 300,000? Um, yes, I will use this satin and make a new satin. Uh, buy that guy, which is hilarious because then we sell that guy, it goes from 300,000 down to 100,000, and then we just cruise into a victory. Ace, two, three, four, seven. Uh, five, six is too big a gap. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. But we definitely don't want to play the straight flush because we have so much value in straights and in supernova. But that is a second victory in no time at all with straights. We will check for stuff that I need to unlock in the collection here. Got the soul for me? No soul. Alright, well, we can get through one more round pretty swift, I think. Thanks for all the money. Six, seven, nine, ten. Queen, ace, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight, seven. Only 96,000. I guess we did disable the boss a second ago, didn't we? All right, that's less fun. Halving our base multiplier does hurt us quite a lot because it's such a big number. But three straights will get us there. Um, magic trick is not the other one I need, is it? It is the other one I need. Okay. Then we buy this and we work really hard to try and stay alive. Lose one dollar per car played. Add one voucher to the next shop. Did 
do I think I can do 1.2 million off of this? I'm not sure I can, to be honest. Um, but I could do this blind and just get the voucher tag, or I could try and do this and get two vouchers. I mean, the money... This hurting me on money isn't something that bothers me, so... Luchador, we don't need to keep you around. I'm thinking about selling Gluttonous. Because it's adding 14, which is doubled to 28. But if I take 36 and I triple it, it seems much more value to me. Two hundred thirty-five thousand. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Uh, I need a club at the high end. Eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King. Save the queen, play the ace. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is this going to be the last 120,000 we need? I think it is. Can this voucher populate the one voucher that I need? No. No, it cannot. Got some glass for me. Because glass right now is really the only way we're going to score enough to get through a lot of this. Um, I will take that for a second. Because what we can do is we get three extra hands then we sell this. Which gets us back the 3x on Joker Stencil. And then we can worry about the rest. So, we have a glass ace floating around out there. If this... Gets me through the round, but I'm too poor to buy the voucher that is presented to me. I'll be very upset. What kind of glass ace did we get? It is a club as well. Don't think it's going to work out for us somehow. Seven, eight, too high. Show me Ace Jack with the glass Ace of Clubs. No, it's just not happening. Which is fine. We got two victories today. How can I complain? Why was I fixated on this being a club when we don't have any need for clubs to exist at all? We do get it right at the end. Unfortunately, King, Queen, Jack is too big a gap. That's a straight, but it's not a 600,000 point straight. But that is fine. Double back-to-back -back victories in almost the exact same fashion and nebula deck has slingshot up to the green stake for now thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the series please do consider subscribing hit that like button if you have any questions comments recommendations put them down below otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers